Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I thought I'd do a fun video for you guys of the rest of my dorm building. So if you haven't seen my dorm tour yet, that's the last video I posted, which was a few weeks ago. You can go check that out if you want to see what my actual dorm room looks like. But today I thought I'd walk you guys through the rest of the entire building. So it's a really nice building and I feel so lucky to be here. So I thought I'd just take you guys along and kind of show you where I've been living for the past few months. So how I'm going to format this video is I'm basically going to show you guys clips of the building, um, maybe a few photos as well um, that I've taken before recording this. So I'm just going to talk through it, but you'll also be able to see what I'm actually talking about on the screen as well. So let's just get started. I think it makes sense to start with the exterior of the building. So it's very, very pretty. As you can see, big glassy windows. Um, it looks quite similar to our neighbor um, Bell Tower, which is our sister dorm. Now what I love so much about this building is that it faces east and west. So the sun rises in front of the building and sets behind it. So I get to see a really pretty sunset every evening through the study room or even my own dorm room, which has been very nice. And I've taken lots of photos and videos of the sunsets here. Right outside of our dorm, kind of, I'd say, in like the patio area. We don't really have a patio, it's just an open space. There are these double sort of rocking chair picnic tables. Um, you'll find, you would find them all around campus here at Duke, but we do have two of those outside, so I do love sitting there sometimes, you know, doing my homework or eating a snack or something. And we also have a cute backyard area with two paths leading to this really big gravel path that goes around um, the entire East Campus, which is where all the freshmen live. So it's really nice running or walking around that path. So yeah, now I'll show you guys the lobby area. So right when you walk in, you'll see all sorts of seating arrangements. Um, there's a big TV in there as well. And there's also this really cool display of these shapes of fake books that kind of create this huge white wall, but there's always a rainbow light um, shining on it so it turns into all sorts of different colors and it's really nice to look at first thing when you walk into the building. And connected to the lobby area is a really nice kitchen with these two huge fridges, a countertop, um, a stove that you can use to cook food. Um, I think there's also an oven in there. I personally haven't used the kitchen very much at all, but I definitely plan to soon. I think it would be so fun to bake cookies in there with friends or do something for the holidays. I think that would be really fun. Now another section of this lobby is a ping pong table and pool table room. Um, I'm sure you can kind of imagine what it looks like. There's a ping pong table, a pool table, this is also where our printer is, which I've used quite a number of times. And if you keep walking, there's these really pretty blue glass sliding doors that lead to the video game room. And there are arcade game stations set up in there, which are really fun to play with, especially because I feel like I don't really get to use those unless I'm in an actual arcade. So it's really cool having these games like Pac-Man and Jurassic Park, which is my favorite, um, in our dorm. So that's been very fun. No payment required. Students can just use them whenever they want. And the other biggest thing in this room is this four TV display with these, I'd say, video game chairs. They are very short and you can rock back on them. And one time my friends and I actually hooked up my friend's Nintendo Switch to the TV, so we got to play Super Smash Bros and Mario Kart on this huge display, which was very fun. Now walking a bit further down this hallway that we have on the first floor, you'll get to the movie theater, which I'd say is actually my favorite room in this building. I feel so lucky that I can just use a theater whenever I want. So all you do is hook up a laptop to the big screen with an HDMI cable and you can literally play whatever you want. It's just 
like a mirror display of your laptop. So it's really easy to use for watching anything you'd like. It did take my friends and I a few times to actually figure out how to connect the laptop to the projector, how to get the sound to work and everything. So the first time we actually did it, it was very exciting. Okay, now if you keep walking down that hallway on the first floor, you'll get to the laundry room, which I don't know, thought I'd show you just for fun. There's two vending machines in there, one for drinks, like sodas, and one for snacks. So yeah, it's just the laundry room, you know, the washers and dryers, nothing too special there. And that's basically it for the first floor. So now I can show you some other parts of the building. So since our dorm has four floors, it's really nice that we actually have an elevator. There is another one that's on the edge of the building that I don't use very often and I actually didn't know that was there until maybe one week ago. So at least I know there's another one if this one stops working, which by the way, it stopped working two days ago. Nevertheless, it's really nice using that, especially going up to the fourth floor instead of climbing eight flights of stairs, I can just use that. Now, the three floors above the lobby floor are pretty much identical. So each floor has a knuckle, and I think it's called that because it's where the building bends a little bit, so it creates a little knuckle shape. It's a really cute sitting area that you can use for studying, um, just hanging out or something. They all look a little bit different on each floor. Again, there's really big, pretty windows, which is something I love so much about this building. And then each floor also has a study room and a common room. And again, they basically look the same on all three floors. The study room has usually just tables and chairs. There's also a TV in there that again, you can use to hook up to your computer to watch a movie or something. And right across from the study room is the common room, which also has a few tables, but it also has a huge couch, um, a coffee table, and again, a TV. So that one's usually more popular for watching movies, not so much the study room. But it's nice getting out of my dorm sometimes if I'm in the building just to do my work in another area. And it's really easy to find someone to sit in here just because there's so many rooms. And I also think I'd show you guys the really pretty hallways. They remind me a lot of hotel hallways as do our doors here, which you can see right behind me. It's kind of like a hotel um, key system where you can swipe your card or use your phone to scan it and enter a code to get into whatever room you want to get into. That's actually pretty common here on campus, so you'll find those lock systems in a lot of dorms. And outside each room, right on top of the room number, is a cute little picture of the chapel, which I think is a nice touch to the hallways. And besides that, I don't think I missed anything. I believe I've shown you guys the majority of the dorm, of course I'm not showing you every single spot you can go to in this building, but I have shown you guys the places I go to most. So I'm going to end this video right here. Thank you guys so much for watching, and again, I feel so, so grateful to be able to live in this dorm this year. I should point out that the freshmen here kind of just go to all the dorms. Your key works for all of them, so you can really hang out in any dorm you'd like. They're open to everyone but the difference is just like where your actual dorm room is. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and seeing what this beautiful dorm building looks like. Don't forget to leave a like and leave a comment down below telling me what other videos you'd like me to make. Um, also, you can tell me about your dorm experience. I'd love to read your comments and I'll try my best to respond to them. I'll see you in the next video. Bye!